If you believe in bitless, you still need to teach your horse how to wear a bit just in case something happens to you and your horse winds up with somebody that doesn't believe in bitless because if they get that horse, your, your horse will have to pay the price for their ignorance. Not yours, but theirs because you need to teach the horse how to wear the bit. For instance, I had a woman, I think it was last year, Sonny, I want you to teach my daughter's horse to rear because we're doing prom pictures and we want to put her in a prom dress and have the horse rear up with the, with the girl on it. And I said, absolutely not. Well, why not? Why? Because I'll teach that horse to rear. First of all, it's a stupid, it's an absolute absurd reason to teach a horse to rear because it's a dangerous thing to do. And your daughter's going to go around the rest of her time with that horse. Exactly. Showing everyone how she can rear that horse up. Right. So yep. at the end of the day, we, you know, it's horsemen, and, and it goes for the horsemen too. I see too. it. You know, someone accidentally is standing in front of that horse, and that horse thinks he was cute and, right. you know, rears yeah. up and ends up coming down and breaking or the Or if you don't even keep arm. the horse. I've had horses over the years that had a cue on them. I'm working a horse. The horse kept rearing and rearing. I'm like, this horse has a rearing problem. Then I realized that my hands were right in front of that horn, and if I touched the wither on the right side, yeah. that was his cue. You yeah. go up. And then also too, and, and, and part of that too is like, I mean, there are, there are, you know, the Liberty performers, the professionals, the people right. who are doing that, or the people who are committed to this horse, like, I'm going to have this horse for their entire life. 100%, like no, ju no judgment there. And it's incredible what some of these, you know, folks, Liberty folks can do with these horses, but they're professionals, they're consistent with their right. cues and their communication. I teach, I teach biomechanics for the horse and rider and how, how for you to ride that horse for him to be fit and take care of his body where you can take care of your body riding. And we sell clinics doing that. And it's my clinics sometimes are hard to get enough participation. I can advertise a trick training clinic because I can trick train <laughs> and, I, and there will not be enough room in the up. clinic for the number of people that want to come trick right. train, but they don't want to learn basic fundamentals and basic proper biomechanics for the horse and rider for the long-term health of the horse. Right.